Hello guys, welcome to Tom's Coffee Corner. Today we're going to talk about this Time More Scale. I've been using this for a couple of months now and it's time to do a review. So the Time More Black Mirror is an excellent little scale that doesn't break the bank. In this video, I'm going to illustrate the features of this little scale and show how I use it for espresso and for pour over. So uh, the scale itself feels really well made and its surface is waterproof. Just don't get any water into the charging port over here. The scale can measure from 0.5 grams to 2000 grams in 0.1 gram increments. The main thing about this scale is it also has a timer. It can time up to 59 minutes and the timer can be started either automatically when weight is detected or manually. It comes with an integrated battery, charged over USB-C, and this lasts me two to three weeks with daily use. To save battery, it turns off automatically after three minutes when it's not timing, or 15 minutes when it is timing but doesn't detect any additional weight. So for espresso, I like to actually use the manual timing because the Dedica has got a five second pre-infusion phase and the espresso droplets don't really hit the cup until about 10 seconds into the process. I'm holding the button down the whole time because I'm actually programming the dose here. 15 grams in and I'm looking to get 30 milliliters or 30 grams out. These beans are from a local roastery. They're fresh and look at all that crema. Mmm, mmm, good. Okay, so for pour over, I like to try to use that four, six recipe so that you're aiming with your first two pours to hit about 40% of the volume and with your remaining pours, the remaining 60% of the volume. So I start with 60 grams, allow it to bloom, and this really brings out the sweetness and the clarity in the coffee. The second pour is another 60 grams, and that equals the first 40%. Then I hit it three more times to bring it up to the remaining 240 to 250 grams. This gives me a really clear, sweet coffee. So here you see, if you remove the cup, the timer pauses. And if you put the cup back, you can restart the timer. In case you're wondering how the dimensions are, it is 103 millimeters wide, 153 millimeters long so without the mat it's 27 millimeters tall with the mat 28. all right guys here i would like to demonstrate the automatic mode just hit repeatedly that button on the left to set it to automatic mode then if you hit the start button it counts down three two one now it's teared out and ready to detect weight then it starts counting upwards one thing to keep in mind is if you take your espresso cup off the scale, it will not stop the timer unless you've gone over 40 seconds. I believe that automatic feature was meant more for pour over. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. And otherwise, 
If you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. And let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions, anything else that you'd like to see reviewed, hit me up in the comment section. All right, thank you guys. See you next time.